Uh, this is a Canon EOS T3i uh, Rebel series, also known as a 600D. Uh, it was sold in the US. I got it for about, what, 400 bucks. There's a bundle for five with two extra lenses. Um, lenses are right here. Ta -ta -ta -ta. We have the, uh, the, the mini, the mini telephoto 55 to 255 millimeter. Uh, then we also have the 18 by 55. Both of these lenses are super beautiful. I took this camera to Israel. It's one of my favorite cameras. I use it. I highly recommend it to everybody who's getting into photography. So, uh, why am I doing this? This is the first of a mini vlog series. I needed a B camera. I found this B camera. Uh, funny story, uh, you know, about me finding it here in Japan. Uh, my dad had it in possession, but now I have it back. So I'm going to use this opportunity to clean this camera because it was left here to literally collect not just dust, but mold. Uh, I am in, I am in Yokosuka, Japan here. Uh, why am I doing this? It got super moldy. So let's take a view at why this thing got super moldy. So if you take a peek here, you have, let me see. Oh, let me, let me shot up. Okay. So as I open this up, as you can see, we have damage, like mold all over the camera on the sides. I'll probably bring it up a lot closer. You can see there is, there is mold on the reflector on the inside of the lens. It's actually quite sad. Even on the sides, we have developed a lot of mold Oops. here on the sides as well. So it's actually quite upsetting. Uh, such a beautiful camera. It looks like like we have some uh, mold on here too. In Japan, there's a there, there's a lot of moisture during the summertime. So if you do not seal your items, uh, they 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 are exposed to heat and being exposed to moisture. Yeah, just a little bit of crackness, and all of a sudden you have yourself mold growing on your not just your <laughs> electronic devices, but also on your clothes, on your shoes, anywhere that's not securely um prepared for the summer humidity here in japan all right let's go to oops all right so um today i'm going to use this uh hyper clean uh spraying device i'm also going to have a handful of items little squeeze pump uh they sell you these little lens cleaners but let's be real these are uh q-tips um what else i have in here and my handy dandy liquid spray this and this comes with some lens some actual lens tissues this probably set me back a good eight bucks nothing nothing too nothing too expensive the container this plastic container actually costs more than all everything that came in here okay so let's take a good nice hard look inside i'm also going to use some wet naps these are some flushable wet naps you can use you can just get them as at the convenience store here there's night Keeping things a bit cool, kind of moist. All right, there we go. Let's go to town with cleaning my old camera. Here we go. So, let me see. I might get some rubbing alcohol, to be honest with you. I think rubbing alcohol might actually do wonders for something like this. So as you can see on this Rebel T3i, I equipped a battery pack. Uh, why? Because I, um, when I took this device to Israel, I didn't want to, I, I was recording a lot of mini videos. I, I didn't want to stop like to uh, have a hard time finding chargers and whatnot. So I wanted an opportunity where I can keep filming and charge when I had that charge. Having a battery grip felt nice on the camera. It felt nice and thick and wide. It, it actually improved the durability of like running and round with it. So, um, and the grip, it's a grip also. So it feels really good when you're holding onto it. I highly recommend anyone who gets a, uh, a camera, if you have the opportunity to get a battery grip, I would do it because it's, it's, it's amazing. Not only does it double your battery life, it also gives you an opportunity to grip it. And you don't have to put two batteries in there. No one told you, is telling you to put two batteries. So honestly, more power to you. This thing is getting uh, destructively brown picking up all this mold yep all right I, don't, I can't tell I should have got a toothbrush really because now I think I'm just rubbing rubbing all the stuff I'm not supposed to in in here right let me take off this little mini viewfinder here. Ta-da! Right? I should actually do this to my camera that I'm recording now. What I'm recording with right now is a Canon 5D Mark II. Uh, one of my favorite cameras. Uh, I got it for very cheap because uh, my motherboard is damaged. And because I have a damaged motherboard, 
I cannot receive, I cannot download the videos properly. I have to manually remove the the uh, the, the compact flash card, which is fine. Like I'm not, you know, it took me a while to find a way to do it, but I did it and now I get to the video. So let's just clean this up. All right, if you live in Japan, you're gonna know about mold. It's gonna be everywhere. Get used to it. You have to. This is this is the country where if you don't, you better watch out. Make sure your stuff is securely fastened. I should have got a brush for that. Same as this, these little cracks and nooks and stuff. Like, oh man, it's deep in there. That's so. This was originally in San Diego, California. Um, that's where I was born and raised. Uh, I honestly feel that I, uh, this was left into my my uh, my garage because what had happened was I, uh, I I used this to film a small event in school. That event was ended. My B my B camera. This was my B camera was being used by uh, another operator who uh, who on accident left the batteries and the chargers and everything that required for this camera to be turned on was missing. So um, because of that, I was no longer able to use this camera the way I wanted to. But it's okay. Um, uh, I left it there. Then my dad found it eventually, and then didn't, unbeknownst to me, uh, borrowed it, thinking that he'd be able to use it when he went to Japan for shots, all sorts of fun stuff. Essentially, to use it as a camera, you know, and not realizing that, without asking me, he was, he didn't realize that it was missing components. He kept saying that he was gonna buy all the parts to clean it or to restore it in its glory, but I decided to do that because. I need a B camera really bad. So here we go. So why buy oops, why buy a new camera when I have one, right? Exactly. All right. Now um I think I have to I think I have to turn on the camera to to move the the the, the mirror on the inside. So uh so there is a there is um mold on the center of the mirror in the middle. I don't know if you can see it uh, well, but it's um, it's in the center, literally dead center. It's it's making a mark. You could probably see it in the reflection. Let me take off this battery pack. Unlock it. Just said I highly recommend. Uh, everyone getting a battery grip and uh, it sure does help with the battery time battery life makes a huge difference um, If you have not purchased one before uh, I mean, this is what the the, 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 cam the camera looks like. It's pretty tiny um, I like it and now that I look at it, it is pretty small <laughs> Right, but with the battery grip you extend its life and it feels so much better in the hands It feels like a stronger DSL like in your in, in the palm of your hand So I, I, I highly recommend it for every aspiring um photographer all right so i had to buy brand new batteries and a brand new charger let's load that sucker in there um i think it's been a while since i put the sucker on so i don't know how it does it go this way there we go okay so i think i could just turn it on card cannot be accessed okay um let's go to menu i heard that there's a cleaning sensor cleaning there it is yeah sensor cleaning oops clean now what's that I just realized that this camera stopped recording uh, and I think I remembered it, it stopped at 12 minutes. So uh, I probably was cleaning, I, I probably was doing this without anybody paying attention, which is fine. But, um, it's just starting to look pretty good. Right, it's starting to look pretty decent. It's starting to look like a normal camera now. It's starting to look super clean, just like on point. Look at that, brand new, like I never did anything wrong to it. Which I didn't, just in case someone watched this video and they see me trying to sell this camera in the future, which I don't think so. I think this camera was well made, well maintained, and now it's being cleaned and it's starting to look brand new. Look at that, brand spanking. Lightly used, okay? Lightly used, or pre-owned is like you like to say it nowadays. Pre-owned, okay, so now. This is a good scrub. This is what everybody should get a grip. <laughs> That's funny. Everybody should get a grip. And they should. <laughs> huh, rust. What do you know? I guess it's good to clean that too. Alright, let's take a peek in here. Um, it looks like this was getting some mold too. Let's give that a clean. 
Yeah, any small holes, cracks, air, like mold will creep in. And don't let it do that. You know, don't let it, don't let it do that to you. you know, so I think that lesson learned. Take care of your stuff. Pay attention to mold. Make sure you don't leave your devices out so no one can take them. And more power to you when you get yourself a rip. I honestly feel that everyone should get one. It's great. Uh, you're, I'm going to be using this camera as a B camera. Probably not in that much filming. However, I'll be using it in many stills and taking in post production or during production. Also, it's going to be my run and gun. It's a lot lighter than the uh, Mark Mark II, the, the 5D Mark II. Um, oh, the best part is you get to take a picture uh, down here with this, this button. It's the best. This thing's the, the grip. Um, you know, they, they, I think it sent back to like $75, $75 something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. All I know is it was worth it, worth the buy. This isn't a knockoff. This was the uh, the Pro Master. Um, I felt like it was a it was a good one. I don't know if they made a, any for uh, here in Japan, but uh, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the Canon 5D, uh, the, the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. I just spent the next the past few minutes giving it a nice good clean uh thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you guys uh next time